New World is the latest MMO on the block, and it may, just may, be a decent replacement for a certain other MMO. You know, the one set in Azeroth. Hi, I'm Alan Dexter, and I'm here to show you what sort of performance you can expect from New World across a range of hardware, and which settings have the biggest impact on performance. New World may have some different takes on the genre, including its action combat system, but one area where it perfectly mimics its peers is in the performance you'll see when doing different things. Jog along the coastline, dispatching undead pirates and maybe stopping for a little impromptu fishing and you'll see great frame rates. Run through the server's busiest settings though and you'll get nowhere near that level of smoothness. On our budget rig, which happens to be powered by a 1650 Super, running through Monarch's Bluff saw the frame rate drop to half that of the shoreline escapades. Not that it matters too much, as there's nothing to fight in the cities. Still, it's a good area to sort out your frame rates, in preparation for dungeons and the massive PvP battles that are waiting for you in the endgame. The good news is that the game does perform well on a range of hardware. At least it does if you're hooked up to a 1080p screen. If you've got a 1440p or 4K monitor, then you're going to want a beefy graphics card to run it properly. For reference, our high-end build hits an impressively smooth 81 frames a second on average at 4K. To be fair, that is packing a GeForce RTX 3080. The RTX 3060 Ti powered mid-range build is also impressive and handles 1440p gaming well. When it comes to your own system, there are plenty of ways to unlock better performance. The first setting you'll want to look at when tweaking your performance is the preset option in the visuals menu. The presets are pretty crude, as in, select the medium preset and it'll change all the settings below it to medium. So you're going to want to tweak the settings yourself to hit the perfect balance for your machine. There are a couple of ways you can play with this, depending on what hardware you're packing. Either start on the low preset and work your way up, or start on the high and drop down to medium, or even low. I'd recommend the latter for most systems, the only exception is if you're trying to get New World running on much older hardware, where you should start with the low preset and then increase a couple of options to make it look better. Either way, you're going to want to know which settings have the biggest impact on performance. The main three are texture details, shadow details and lighting details. Keep everything else on high and drop these three to medium and you should see a notable uplift in frame rate. It's also worth dropping down the post-processing setting as well, as this has a notable impact on performance. It would have been better to have finer control over things like anti-aliasing, anisotropic filtering and the like, but that's not what New World offers up. Oh, one last setting worth tinkering with is the player nameplate amount slider. By default, the game will show up to 15 nameplates, but dropping this down to just two can boost your performance in cities nicely. Sticking with 5 isn't a bad idea for dungeon runs either. All the other settings have little to no impact on performance, and so can be left as high as possible. I hope you've enjoyed watching, and be sure to check out PCGamer.com for all the latest tips and tricks to make your new world adventures profitable. Now if you'll excuse me, I've got some mining to do.